Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Trickett. And yes, this is another amazing edition, guys, of Wake Up With Trickett. And you guys are all amazing, guys. And if nobody has told you, I'm telling you guys right now, so you can either receive it, not receive it, but that's, that's up to you. You can use your free will however you want to use it. <laughs> and with that being said, guys, I salute the greatness and the divinity and each and every one of you guys. And let's just jump right in. <laughs> let's just jump right into this, right? Hey guys, <clears throat> do not let fear, do not let fear hold you up from what is rightfully yours. Do not let fear, fear is false evidence appearing real. You guys hear me tell you all the time, right? That fear is false evidence appearing real. So do not let fear hold you back from what is rightfully yours. Now, can you forfeit it? Of course you can forfeit it. You can forfeit it with fear. You can take too long. Believe it or not, some people think way too long on things, right? And then they watch somebody else walk away with it. Then they live with that regret, that grinching heartache, regret, because they just stay stuck way so long because they were in their mind weighing out all the negative options because they had no belief, no real faith, no no belief in any really higher power or nothing to where they actually gave it to that person or that individual or that spirit or whatever the case you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? But they don't have that. So they rock a lot of fear. And then if you're rocking fear, guys, it's just going to hold you up. Hold you up from your love, hold you up from the good job, hold you up from great opportunities. Fear. I'm intimidated. I'm scared. I'm nervous. So what? Who hasn't been scared? Who hasn't been nervous? Who hasn't been intimidated? But the things, the reason why we have the things that we have today is because people got past their fears. That's why we have what we have. Houses, homes, cars, jets, planes, whatever. Because someone stepped out of their fears to say, I'm going to do it. I'm going to pursue it. I'm going to invest. I may invest and still fail, but on the second go around, I'm going to make it. I mean, you can't let fear, guys, lock you down. You can't let fear keep you choked. You can't let fear dictate to dictate to you when to move out on something and when to stay stuck. Really? <laughs> you can't let fear be the catalyst for you. I'm nervous. I'm scared. We've all been. Do you have kids? I hope you're not the role model, right? Because that's a failure right there, right? Because you're rocking that much fear. All you're doing is just passing your generational fears if you have kids to your kids. That's lame. That's lame. Let me be the first to tell you, you have a lot of people, I'm not going to judge. I'm not going to judge you. Those people are afraid. I'm not those people. I'm going to judge you because I'm judging you righteously. These people are crazy. You hear people all the time. I'm not going to judge you. You know, you even hear readers are like, I'm not going to judge you on what to do. You're cowards. <laughs> and I'm letting you know I said it. Now what? <laughs> I'm not a karmic. <laughs> I'm a high priest. <laughs> I'm no joke. I'm on tell it like it is. How in the heck can you say you have love and then tell somebody I'm not going to give you the best advice for you? You don't have love. You're a karmic. You don't have love because if you have love, you're going to tell somebody what's best for them to do and then allow them to make their own decision. But you're going to tell them, right? You're going to at least want them to know the truth. That's like you having kids and say, I ain't going to tell you what to do. You know, because, you know, I ain't trying to judge nobody. But I see you going off a, a deep clip. I see you getting ready to make a huge mistake. No, you're karmic. You're karmic. All you people are afraid to judge karmic. And I said it. Now what? <laughs> you got a problem? You, here I am. <laughs> it's karmic. Because you are supposed to give correction. You give correction to your kids. You give corrections if you do something wrong on a job. 
you give correction if you're driving and you do it wrong you take your driving test you you do your homework assignment everyone gets correction and everything the most high God is always giving body corrections and so what are you above correction really how does that work <laughs> how does that work because it doesn't you know what I'm saying so check this out guys don't allow fear don't allow fear to be the catalyst to hold you back from what is yours there's a lot of people that should be reaching out to people that are not reaching out to people because they're stuck they're stuck they're stuck and then by the time they want to reach out to these people these people are going to be long gone and they're going to live with regret years of regret or regret on them that they didn't have to have but they just put it on them because they was moving so slow or they're worried about other people let me tell you guys something anybody that is worried about somebody else you need to really consider if they're strong enough to be in your circle whatever your circle is whatever obviously for me they can't even be within a hundred feet of me not me because that's weakness and I don't need that disease to rub off on me and then I end up weak like them, taking forever to make a decision, letting karmics hold me back when I should be moving forward. I'm still stuck in my mind of karmics that have done me no good. Think of the mindset, karmics done you no good, lied to you, cheated on you, robbed, robbed you, stole from you, whatever. And then you're still stuck on them. What emotions do you got? You're dysfunctional, okay? You're dysfunctional. What are you feeling? Abuse? Is that what you're feeling? I miss the abuse. I'm scared to move on from the abuse. Stay there. Whatever. Don't make me no difference. My life's going to shine no matter what. <laughs> but I'm just saying for you guys, honestly, a lot of people like to stay stuck in bad situations. I don't know what it is, but I just think there's a some kind of attraction to like treat me bad and I'll, I'll stay long you treat me bad I'm gone in five seconds 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 and then I guarantee you you'll live with regret anyone that steals from me regret anyone that puts black magic on me they will get sickness lose their job any that wishes me evil sending that junk towards me will all come back towards them you don't believe me watch anybody tell somebody to put something bad on me and watch what happens to them if you want an example or what could happen to you <laughs> tell him to do it do I look like I'm worried <laughs> I love this stuff I live for this I love to prove what I can do I love to prove what I can do I love to prove who I represent who represents me I love to prove that I walk in real power spiritual power spiritual power that when you go to the doctors they can't give you a pill to fix what you got put on you there's no fixing that they're trying to figure it out here uh take this i think you need to we're going to subscribe you this we're going it ain't going to help because you got that spiritual whipping on you <laughs> when them angels come from you when those spirit guides come from you there ain't no fighting that that's just you taking it at that point your mouth don't work running your mouth your fear don't work it works against you even more so. Your doubt only eats you up even more so because you have no power. What you're basically being shown is that you are powerless the entire time. So now when you come against somebody of power and they're like, well, what's up? Bring it. You can't bring it. There's nothing to bring. There's no protection. There's no guidance. There's no knowledge or wisdom on how to deal with it because you live in fear. I'm scared I hear my intuition telling me to do this I hear my intuition telling me to do that I hear my intuition telling me to move forward so I can have a better life geniuses that's God okay genius that's God telling you that if you haven't wised up yet that's the universe that's God that's your higher power that's God so if you are if you're so indecisive to where a person rejects God and his wisdom like if he don't know what's best for you and then you're ultra slow you're ultra slow 
ultra slow. You need to belong in a circle of people that are just as slow as you. That will make all the bad decisions, reap all the bad karma, and cry all about it until they throw dirt over you on your dying days. It is what it is. Because you chose to make karmic decisions. You choose to live in a karmic lifestyle. You choose to make excuses, to stay where you shouldn't stay, to do things you shouldn't do. You make excuses for those things, but you don't make excuses for you to get better. You don't make any excuses for you to get better. And you don't think nothing's wrong with that. Isn't that crazy? The things that people can accept, the way people can use their imagination, right? For the BS that doesn't serve them. Like, I know he loves me. And you know he doesn't. I know she loves me and you know she's a cheater. You know, but, but, but we play these games on ourselves, right? With our mind. We use our beautiful mind, right? To deceive ourselves, right? We use our beautiful mind to deceive ourselves. Instead of being honest with ourselves. And then when it goes down south, when it goes wrong, we pretend like we don't know why it went wrong. We're all shocked. What happened? Why is my life always like this? Start, need to start choosing better. <laughs> you need to stop going back to karmics. You, you need to stop. They have a hold on me. Even though they do me wrong, they got a hold on me. I can't let go. You have ill, you have issues. Do some shadow work. You like abuse and then be abused. But don't cry about it when you get your abuse. Don't cry about it when you get cheated on. Don't cry about it when you keep getting those STDs. Ooh. And then you still want to stay. You still want to put up with this. You still want to pick up the phone and have conversations. You still want to meet up and give it one more go. You're crazy. And you deserve everything you get. Everything. All of it. Because your decision making is garbage. People say they want love, but then again, they'll use their imagination to tell themselves that everything is good and a karmic dysfunctional, toxic relationship. But these are the same people that'd be like, I want to be treated right. I want love. I want true love. I want somebody that's going to care for me. I want somebody that's going to love me. That's going to be there. That's going to be faithful to me. I'm always getting treated bad. And these same crazy, dysfunctional, karmic, toxic thinking people, these are narcissist people themselves too because they don't even know what they want. They're so confused. They say they want one thing and then you see what they're putting up with in life, completely opposite. You see the decisions, you watch the decisions that they're making in life, completely opposite, guys, completely. Com completely opposite from what they say they really, really want. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs confuse people they deserve everything they get all of it and some because they are using their own free will to make excuses to put themselves through unnecessary situations i get i get it you made a mistake okay you get a, you make a, you made a mistake you get up the next day you don't make the mistake but if you're living this mistake in and out, day in and day out, it's not a mistake, baby, boo-boo. <laughs> it's not a mistake. It's just you got toxic thinking. You're unhealed. You're what I call broken. Don't, don't feel bad because almost everyone is just like you. Broken, shattered, confused. I believe everybody knows the choices in life. So I don't believe that there's a decision to make. I believe everybody knows a decision. I believe it's just making that decision. Most people are just scared to make the decision, but I believe most people know their decisions already. They already know. They're just scared to make a decision. Cowards. They got a cowardly spirit in them. Who can use somebody like that around them? I can't. You can't even talk to me. 
I'll pass you on to somebody on your level. Only way you can get in my energy is if you're ready to change. If not, and then I'm, I'm you're, you'll never be in my energy. I know what my value is. I know what my worth is. Whether you know it or not means nothing to me. Nothing. What do I care? <laughs> Period. If you don't see the value, and then that's your loss. If you want to wait forever, that's your loss. You and everybody else that'll be living in regret will just have to live in regret. That's the road you chose with your own free will. You chose. That's what you chose, right? Fear. Fear, fear will always rob you of everything that should rightfully be yours. Fear will always rob you. Why don't you put on some courage? Why don't you try courage? You got people scared to make a phone call. <laughs> they scared to reach out. These people are so paranoid. Think about how messed up your mindset can be when making a phone call is hard, but then you could call a karmic like no problem. A merry man, like no problem. See how people, when it comes to what doesn't serve them, they can do it easy. <laughs> Is this person going to be in my highest interest? No, but I could pick up the phone and call them like nothing. Hey, what's up? I didn't have to think about it. I didn't get nervous. I didn't have any issues. No. Because you're a karmic that likes negativity. You like abuse. So abuse will always come to you. Until you stop that cycle of I like abuse. And then abuse will come to you. I don't know how to block the phone. I don't know how to say no. And then don't. Keep getting stepped on. Hey. Everybody needs a carpet. Every, everybody needs a carpet, right? Everybody needs somebody to step on, right? If they're going to allow them to be trampled on, then you got to trample on them or you're not going to be using what they're allowing themselves to be used for. They're saying trample on me. Low self-esteem. This is where I'm at. Talk to me bad. Lie to me. I'm going to still hang in there. Okay. You're hanging in there due to fear. Man or woman. I speak energies. I don't see color. I'm not 3D like the, like the majority of you. I read energy. Not color, not race. Energy. I want to know what your value system is. I want to know what you believe in. I want to know if you're weak. I want to know if you're someone that I have to keep an eye out for. Not that I'll ever be worried. But I just got to keep an eye out for her. So when I got to blast you with some energy that you won't be able to deal with, and then I'll blast you. And then we get to see what you're really made out of, right? <laughs> call on who you call on then. I'm even going to sit down for this one. I want to see how it works. I already know what the outcome's going to be. I'm chosen. You're not, period. Not those that are living in fear. Because God don't roll with fear. Love is the most powerful. It's energy. Love is the most powerful energy out there. So if you're not operating in love, and then you're already weak. That means you're operating in lies, hate, deceit. I'm going to talk behind your back, smile in your face. I'm going to wear a mask. I'm going to hide my true feelings. You're karmic. And as soon as you can understand, hey, I'm karmic. I'm ratchet in my thinking. I need, to, I need to fix myself. I need to get out of this horrible lifestyle that I'm living in. As soon as you realize that, and then you'll start getting better. Because you'll start being motivated to go towards things that will improve your life. You know what I'm saying? Not people trying to steal your insurance money from your inheritance. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got people that have no idea what kind of power I possess. But they're all about to be exposed, humiliated, and lit up by my angels. Now, I want to see what kind of prayer you're going to put up there to stop that. Because it's going to be public. You're playing with the right somebody. 
You should have did your homework before you came and stepped to me. But anyway, I don't worry about anything. Because a person can delay something, but they can never take anything that is rightfully yours. Straight up. And I'm a master manifester, so whatever I speak is going to happen. So I don't worry. I don't have those doubts like you guys do. Like I pray, but I don't know. I don't have a I don't know. I don't even have a but. If I say it, I'm already like it's done. It's already going to happen. All I got to do is just keep living my life and it's going to happen. That person's done. That situation's done. It's handled. My angels, my, my guides. They're going to handle it. My ancestors, when I summons them, they're going to come and they're going to handle whatever needs to be handled. So I don't worry about nothing. Absolutely nothing. I don't have any fear. I don't care what nobody thinks because you can't control my life because you don't care about what I think. So why would I care about what you think, right? That just sounds slow, guys. It's getting dark out here. I'm in my backyard, it's starting to light up. I love it when it starts to light up like this. Look. All my angels protecting me. Look at this. All my angels, all my guys, all my, all my ancestors. Look at it. I'm surrounded. Look at it. I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded, highly guarded, highly protected. Anybody that's ever threatened me, it's never worked. Anybody that did me wrong in their business, their business in the town I live in has all went away. Every single one has fallen. Every single one, guys, has fallen. Am I proud about that? No, but you need to be careful who you do wrong. Everybody is not made equal. Everybody is not the same in the spiritual realm. Everybody doesn't have the same blessings. Do not allow fear to ruin your life. Do not allow fear to steal what is rightfully yours. Right now, there's people in my energy that should be speaking to people, making things right. Like I got somebody that owes me apology. But this is what I'm saying. These are the same type of people that will want good to come in their life, but good won't come. You can't do a chosen one wrong, and I've done nothing wrong to you, and then expect good is gonna come into your life. You will be haunted. You will have misery. You will be cheated on every day of your life. You will never ever have a faithful relationship. Because you cannot spread lies, spread rumors, and then hide because you don't want to admit the truth. You have destruction, torment, and pain headed your way for a very, very, very long time. Guys, if you do wrong, you have to make it right. It is what it is. You was tough enough to do it, right? You weren't nervous when you were spreading the lies, right? You weren't scared when you were telling all the false stories, right? When you was trying to degrade a chosen one's name, it didn't bother you at that time, right? It doesn't even bother you from what my guides tell me when you hear people speak negative about me. You keep it in secret, but you don't say nothing openly. No problem. I told you there's no secrets. I can tap in and find out what anybody is doing, no matter who you are. Whether you talk to me, don't talk to me. Uh, I can find out all your business. So this is the game you want to play. It's a game of destruction, but it's your destruction. You've already left a karmic, a married person, Really? You need to do what's right. So right will come to you. But if not, guys, it's, 
It's not. And you know why people don't do right? Because of fear. I'm talking about the people that feel guilty and they know they did wrong and they know that they need to do right and they don't do right. You know why they don't do right? Because of fear. Now they have pride. They didn't have pride when they were slandering your name, right? They didn't have pride. They wasn't worried about no God. They wasn't worried about the community, they church, whatever, whatever they go to. They wasn't worried about any of that. But then when it comes to make it right with you, they got fear, they're worried, they're stressed. You're gonna be more than that. Keep playing and all your hair will fall out. You'll have to buy a wig as a woman. You cannot do people wrong and act like it is okay. Whoever you are, man, woman, whoever, karma is very real. Don't believe it, believe it. it makes no difference to me. It comes for everybody. No one, no one is above it. So you want to take forever? All these people want to take forever. I'm still uh, making excuses to not do right. I'm still making excuses to still stay stuck. I'm so keep your excuses because when your karma hits, when your karma hits, your excuses won't help no more. You're going to have to live out your long term prison sentence of unhappiness, of despair, of no money, of no matter what you do doesn't work, of illness coming on, <coughs> starting to get a little sick, not feeling good, can't sleep good at night, is your sleep broke, having nightmares, demons haunting you, you don't have peace because you can't get peace. You can't get peace slandering people. You can't get peace slandering people. But what you do get is punishment. You don't get peace, though. It doesn't matter how many, who you talk to. I talk to my preacher. What does that mean? You didn't slander him. That don't mean nothing. What does that mean? Who is he? What power does he got? I ain't worried about nobody. I'm speaking on truth. I don't care who you talk to. You didn't slander them. Just like most cowards and just like most people that do wrong. They start then looking for everybody else to talk to. When they know all they have to do is talk to the person they did wrong to and make it right. But they want to play this game. So you know what? Play this game. But you playing it with the right person. Because I'm no joke. So let me see what you, your community, your church, your whoever you talk to, let's see them pull you out of this. Let me see what Bible verse they're going to give you that say if you slander somebody, you know, you can take forever before you make it right. Because nine times out of ten, you'll take so long that the person would have already forgave you and their energy. And then by the time you want to come around and say sorry, they don't even want to hear it. You've already been dismissed. You've already been dismissed. Because that's how trifling, that's how ratchet, that's how karmic the individual was. I don't have any problem saying sorry. I'm authentic. I'm real. I'm 100. I don't have pride issues like that. Because pride holds you back. Pride brings bad karma on you. So, for those who want all that pride, enjoy your bad karma. For those that don't want it, change your life. If you've done people wrong, ask for forgiveness. Reach out to them. And then let God deal with it from that point. Most people don't believe. It's easy to just push a button, put a prayer hands, huh? And you don't have no faith. And you don't have no belief. <laughs> None. None. <laughs> I'm out of here, guys. Really, I am. I'm just tired. I'm just tired of being surrounded by weakness, by fake people. I'm tired. I don't mind the broken people that want to come and be healed. It's just all the ratchet people that want to be karmics. Because a person like me can put them away real quick, real easy in the public to where everyone will see how they went from where they were to zero. 
and I can make them a public example of I am no joke to play with. I get tired, but I have compassion. I have compassion on these folks because I was once there, but I didn't have no one like me around. No, no one. So hey guys, it is what it is. Don't let fear keep you away from what's yours. Don't let fear stop you from your heart's desire. Stop wearing it like it's Gucci, Louis, or whatever your favorite designer or, or clothing wear is. Stop rocking it like it's doing you some good. You owe someone an apology, reach out and give them an apology. If you're scared, then have a couple drinks. Smoke a cigarette, do whatever you people do to calm your nerves. Because when you're gonna go on a date and you you nervous, uh, you, you still manage to do all those things. Get pregnant, have sex, everything else, nervous or not, you still manage to go forward with it, right? So stop playing games, karmic games. Stop playing these weird, crazy games. Making excuses to get better. But then again, you find every excuse to stay broken. I'm done with this conversation. Stay where you want to be. I'm going to keep shining. Black magic don't fade me. Everybody that sends it, all their life gets destroyed back. Destroyed. Destroyed. No money, broke, illness. Wish that negative stuff on me. I'm so hot right now. I'm so, I'm on, I'm so on fire right now. My gifts are so heightened right now. I'm so protected in, 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 and just loved right now. I dare you. And then you'll have years to think about what you shouldn't have done because you're gonna be in despair. Live with that junk. I'm out guys. If you got more pride than you got forgiveness, and then just prepare, you prepare yourself for an unhappy, unfaithful, unloving life. And with that being said, you guys are all amazing. Hope you guys all make the right decision. If you haven't made that decision, hope you don't take forever. Because the same time you're taking, when it's your time for somebody to do right by you, it's going to even take even longer. Because God watched you and watched how you took forever for that person. So it will even be longer when it comes to you. And trust me, baby boo-boo, it's going to come for you because it comes for everybody. Because you can't do ratchet stuff. You can't do wrong. Can't lie, cheat, try to steal, whatever. And then you expect you're going to get blessed at the end of the day? No. More darkness. More misery. More restless nights. Nice. More, more negativity, more negative energy will all be coming your way because that's what will be consuming you because that, unfortunately, is what you have chosen to become until you choose to work with your shadow, with your inner self, heal your inner child, do those things that you know you can do right. Even if you don't know how to do all the other stuff. You know if you owe somebody an apology how to say, I'm sorry. You know how to do that, right? Because you because you want that from somebody else when they do you wrong, right? I'm telling you these karmic people. Karmic people, they want apologies, but they don't want nobody. They don't want to apologize for somebody. They want their apology to come right away, but then they want to take forever for you. They don't want nobody to lie to them, but they'll lie to you. They don't want nobody to cheat on them, but they'll cheat on you. These karmics. Can't stand them. I light them up all day. I live to light them up. I live to light them up, light a candle, try to look up something on Google, try to send some kind of confusion, spell something, I'm going to rock your whole house. Everybody will pay for your, for your foolishness. Everybody will suffer because of what you decided to do. You will bring on punishment on your own home. So... Be careful. Well, you guys want to dibble and dab in what you don't know. Not strong enough. Not knowledgeable enough. 
And then you think you can swing with the heavy hitters. <laughs> That's funny. I'm out of here, guys. You guys are all amazing. I'm Trickett. You guys are all wonderful, beautiful, divine beings. Whether you know it or not, I know it. And now you know it. And with that being said, God bless. You guys, do what's right. So right will come back to you. So you can start living your best life now and not be in relationships that you don't want to be in, being with people that you don't want to be with, doing things you don't want to be doing, stuck in areas way too long than what you should have been stuck in. I'm out. Really?